Okay, so let's do problem 338 here. And 338, we're doing a mesh analysis and we're looking for the current here. The current here. Okay, so let's do our, our loops here. So we have, I'm gonna call this I1 and we'll have I2 and then I3. I'm drawing all of mine clockwise and I4, okay? And when we do mesh analysis, we do KVL, KVL. So to do KVL, now if you notice here, we have a current source here, okay? And remember that we cannot find the voltage through a current source using KVL. So we need to make sure we do our loops appropriately. So the first one I'm going to do is this one. So this loop here. So let's do that one. So we have negative 60 i'm going to start here so we have negative 60 remember the voltage sources if we go negative to positive we write them as negative and that's because our resistances are positive to negative so we're going to sh write those as positive so plus i1 times 4 4 and then we have i2 I2 times this three, and I2 times one, that's one. And uh, then we have this two, which is going to be plus I2, I2 minus I4, so this one minus this one times two. And then lastly, we have this plus um, I1 minus I3 div times two. And that is going to equal zero. Okay, so that's our first equation. And we have one, two, uh, three, four unknowns. So we have four unknowns. So we're gonna need four equations here. We're gonna need four equations. So let me erase this. And now let's do our next loop. And the next loop we're gonna do is which one? Well, let's do, uh, this one has a current source. So let's do this one. Let's do this one. And we'll start, we'll start here. Start here. Okay, so starting here, going this direction, we have I4 minus I3 times one. And then we'll go this direction. So we're going here, up, and around. Okay, so we have, then we have plus I4 minus I2 times two. And then we have, since we go positive to negative here, that's plus 22.5. And lastly, we have this here, and that will be plus I4 times four. And that whole thing should equal zero. So we have two equations now, but we need four equations. So let's keep going. So what are the other two equations? So we need two more equations. 
two more equations. So two more equations. Well, we have 10 amps here. So that is I1, I, I2 minus I1 equals 10. So I2 minus I1 is this 10 here. So there's one equation. And then we also have that I3 equals negative 5. Equals negative 5. So we have our four equations. We have this equation, this equation, this equation, and this equation. So how do we solve this? Well, it gets messy. It gets messy. I would encourage you to use a calculator and to use matrix form. So if you've ever encountered matrix form before, let's write this out. So we have I1, I2, I3, and I4. And this is going to be 60, negative 22.5, 10, and 5. So this represents these equations. For example, up here, this equation here represents six times I1, six times I1, plus six times I2, minus two times I3, minus two, times I4 is equal to 60. So that's this, this row multiplied by this column. So if we take a look up here, right, that's, and we add everything up, that's 4I1 plus 2I1, that's 6I1, and then we have 3i2 plus 1, that's 4. And then minus or plus another 2, that's 6. That's 6. So we have 6i2. So these are equations here. And these are the right hand side. And we can think of this equation as AX times B. So we have AX equals B. And we can solve this by saying X is equal to A inverse B. So we can solve this equation here. And through this, we can get our values. So we have, for example, I naught, let's go back up. This I naught here, I naught is equal to I3 minus I4. I3 minus I4. And solving this equation here, these equations, we have 
I4 is negative 1.375 amps. And I3 is negative 5. So we have negative 5 minus this negative 1.375. So I naught comes out to be negative 3.625 amps. And that is our solution to this problem.